We're on the hunt to find the best fish and chips in Newfoundland. Today, we're at the Dildo Brewing Company. In Dildo, Newfoundland. So we've had a few requests to try the fish and chips at Dildo Brewing Company. And today, Big D, we have finally made it here. How does Dildo's fish and chips stack up against other fish and chips we've tried? Let's find out. Yeah, let's go. So this is the first time Big D has been to Dildo. It's a pretty cool, small, little quaint community. It got the Dildo sign up on the hill. The Dildo Brewing Company uh, Museum restaurant they got there is beautiful. Right on the water. This is a nice little spot, Big D. It's not what I picture. I picture it being like a party town, you know. Like, woo! Like people throwing Dildos at each other. Stuff like that. So I've been here before. I've been here one time. As you can see, I got the Dildo Brewing Company shirt representing. It's time to check out these fish and chips and see if they stack up against the other fish and chips we've tried. How we do our fish and chips, we got two pieces of fish, one for me, one for Big D, and we get dressing and gravy on our fries. That's how we order all of our fish and chips. That's our only rule. So here at Dildo Brewing Company, for a two piece fish and chips with dressing and gravy, it is $27 taxes in. It's so actually, it's $19 for the fish and chips, $5 for dressing and gravy. So I think that's where the price gets a bit, a little bit too high for my liking. So it's $24 before tax. Wow. I mean. Inflation hit dildo hard. It's around about the same as every other place we've tried. Yeah. So it's pretty standard. Let's open this up and take a look with the close-up cam. All right, Big D, let's open this bad boy up and the see. moment of truth. Ooh. Not much gravy, but it looks like. Is there any gravy? I don't think so. Don't look like there's any gravy to me. <laughs> looks like just, just dressing. All right, so it looks like they forgot our gravy on our dressing. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Uh, but. I will say this fish looks good. All right, so a um, little asterisk on this uh, video. There's no gravy on our fries and dressing. You know, we'll still try it. Mistakes happen. We're gonna have to rate it based on what we're tasting, so. All right, Big D, let's grab some of these uh, fries with dressing on them. So the fries do look good, nice and crispy look. And um, we got some dressing on there too. So let's give her a shot. Toast it, Big D, bang. They're not bad, but they do need gravy. Fries are good. Mm -hmm. Fries are really good. I'm disappointed now because the well, gravy, the gravy, the be gravy like? would have, well, it depends on the gravy, I guess. But the dressing is good and the fries are good. I'm gonna forgive so, them, I think. I'm gonna forgive them. How can you remember the dressing and forget the gravy? Yeah, it's just I can understand weird. if they forgot the dressing and give us gravy. Yes. But like, do anybody really order fries with just dressing on them? Seems pretty dry. So Big D, obviously without the gravy, it's gonna be kind of hard to rate this, probably with an asterisk. But what did you think of the fries and dressing? They were good. Gravy would have put this over the edge. Yeah. I'd give them four stars. I like the, I just want some gravy. To me, uh, yeah, the gravy, depending on the gravy. Now, if it wasn't a good gravy, it might have not. Have Maybe given... they saved themselves by not giving us gravy. Who knows? Maybe this is canned gravy. But to me, this. the gravy would have brought this over the top, and it would have been really close to a five stars. The fries are good. The dressing is good. I'm going to give the fries and dressing without gravy a 3.8. This probably would have been more around a... You know, this would have been a 4.5. Probably. Anyways, let's get to, obviously, the most important part of this video. The fish. They forgot the batter on our fish. So there's no tartar sauce. We're going to start asking, is the tartar sauce in it? Because the last place we went to forgot our tartar sauce, too. That was Chelsea's. Here's the fish. Nice, fair size. Looks pretty crispy. Looks pretty crunchy. But, does it taste any good? Let's taste it, Big D. Toast it. Dang. Mm. 
Nice and crunchy. It's a bit fresh. Yeah. I need some gravy or tartar sauce. There's a close up shot. Don't know if you can see it there. But the fish is really nice. Nice and flaky. Good fish. Like Big D said, it is a little bit fresh, which means it's not super salty. For those non newfies watching, they're like, what do you mean? You want old fish? No. Fresh means it needs a bit of salt. We just tried the fish and chips at Dildo Brewing Company. Big D, I really enjoyed this fish. This was a pretty good piece of fish. Is it the best we've had? No. Uh, it was nice and crunchy. It was The fish was really good. But without the tartar sauce, it was a little bit fresh. I think tartar sauce would have helped a lot. Uh, and gravy would have helped a lot too. This was a pretty good piece of fish and chips. The fish, I'm going to give the fish a 3.9. I probably would have given it a little bit of a higher score. If it was a little bit saltier, if I had a little bit of something to dip in it, it probably would have got like a 4.1. But as is, I'm saying 3.9. It's not a bad piece of fish. It was pretty good. What did you think? Nerd and Oofy, I agree with you 110%. You stole the words out of my esophagus. Dildo Brewing Company is a beautiful spot. The food seems like it's pretty good. They shot herself in the foot with a side-off shotgun. Why do you have to always be so overdramatic about things? They forgot the gravy. There's no tartar sauce. That hurt them big time. And now they are pretty busy. Yes. Overall though, exact thing you said. Fish was pretty good. It needs a bit of salt. It needs some tartar sauce. It needs some gravy. I'll give it 3.9 as well. I was going to say 4, but that's just too high. So I agree with you. And this is expensive. I don't know if it's too expensive though when you take into consideration the price of every fish and chips we've tried on the channel. It's right around the same price. Yeah, it's normal price. So it but just, other places give us gravy. It just seems expensive to us because, you know, like 20 something bucks, 25 bucks for two piece fish and chips just seems, but in this day and age, that's the price. We're in our 30s. We can still remember getting fish and chips with dressing and gravy for $12.99. Oh yeah, I remember that a couple years ago. Anyways, guys. That's going to be it for today's video. If you have any suggestions of places around the province you'd like us to try their fish and chips at, then comment down below and let us know. Make sure to hit like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and check out our Patreon and our memberships down below. Today, we tried out the fish and chips from Dildo Brewing Company. As always, thanks for watching, stay nerdy, and have a great day. Yeah, Dildo, Dildo, Dildo.